Do you have any wildlife running loose in your backyard? Well, our next story is about a council's clever idea. They started a backyard buddy program to help the beautiful blue tongue lizard to survive. All you need is the right type of garden and the desire to help out. So let's join Nelson as he goes through the process of getting a backyard buddy for his garden. This is a man's world. As our cities grow and expand, the edge of the metropolitan areas are impacting on the native wildlife. Australian cities are unique in that they house the biggest lizards in the world, skinks. It's quite, quite unusual to have lizards this size live in urban areas. Many councils around Australia are introducing innovative programs to aid in the survival of our precious wildlife. Peter Clark is the coordinator of a program called Backyard Buddies. The reality is that baby blue tongues almost always die before they reach adulthood. Dogs, cats, kookaburras, karawongs, they all kill these little things. They don't have a chance. It's really up to us to try and make a difference. Jack and Nelson have heard about the Backyard Buddies program and really want a blue tongue for their garden. Save your blue tongue lizard, Jack. OK. Oh, there it is, Backyard Buddies. We found it. Oh, maybe we need to ring them. See, there's a number down there. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Council. Um, I was just wondering, can I please talk to someone about your backyard buddies? This scheme, being run by a Sydney Council, endeavours to help the blue tongue lizard grow to maturity. All you need is a suitable backyard. Well, look, I think this yard is absolutely perfect. You're exactly the sort of candidate we want for this program and I think we're going to be able to organise a lizard release. Yes! Bill! Nah, Bongo! Blackjack! Noodles! Barry! Yeah, Barry's a good name! Hey, what about Barry? Look, I like Barry. Barry the Blue Tongue. Yeah, let's go with that one. Here we go, boys. Here's Barry. Hey, Barry. What's up, Barry? So, Pete, how do we tell that Barry is not a Betty? It's very hard to tell whether Blue Tongues are boys or girls. The only way we're going to know that Barry isn't a Betty is if Barry has babies, in which case it is a Betty. So why does the blue tongue lizard have a blue tongue? Well, it has no real defence against predators. The only way it can save itself is if it scares them away. So its blue tongue and a, tss, a hiss is its only hope. Now, boys, there's one thing I've got to explain to you, that Barry is a wild animal and there's no guarantees he'll live in your backyard. But if you have the right environment with lots of food, he should be here for a long time. Do you want to get him? Do they bite? Well, they don't have teeth. So go and get him, it's safe. They can gum you a lot, but I think you should be safe. See you later, Barry. Look. Welcome home, Baz. It's a beautiful day. Having Barry as a backyard buddy, well, it's a different sort of pet. He's not the sort of pet that you take for a walk or you keep inside, but he's the sort of pet that for 20 years you might be able to share the morning sun with. And that, that is a very special thing unique to Australia. Blue tongue fact. A blue tongue lizard has up to 25 babies in its litter. 